guys, here we are. Let's make sure we can see what we're doing here. Okay, right. we're here. We got Woo it. Woohoo! We did it. Oh, Jeannie can be with me. We're back. We missed Woo everybody last week. Uh -oh. What's going on with that? Hold on. Go away, stupid stuff on the Okay, now we're back. The computer <laughs> stops popping its silly thing. We missed everybody last week. Mm -hmm. um, we knew doing a Facebook Live in the middle of a snow bid or whatever they're calling it was going to be iffy, but it wasn't happening. Mm -hmm. No. Um, for when Tuesday, I like winter and I you don't mind a nice snowstorm, but this was ridiculous. Crazy, crazy. Oh gosh, it was awful. I would actually planned on sneaking up here Tuesday long enough to get the mail orders out. Uh, but then I got the text on my phone that we had no power at the shop. We were part of the rolling blackouts. Mm -hmm. You were part of the rolling blackouts. No, ours was something else. It was, you were something else. Well, yeah, Jeannie was just didn't have power. For six hours. Wow. Yeah. That's way too long. Way it too was. long to not have power. <laughs> It was way too cold. Yeah, yeah. So I think by the Facebook Live time last week, it was a point where we were all curled up on a ball on the couch, you know, mm -hmm. thinking that we're all going to freeze to death and die. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's not a crazy thing to worry about. But yeah, it's been an awful week. And I know some of you are still, well, I guess you're out power. You may not be watching us today, but we're thinking about you. Glad we don't live in Texas. Mm, me too. Thank God. Somebody just came oh, did someone come in? Okay, you go do the job. All right, but in the meantime, um, normally we would have had a lot of stuff come in, but all of the shipments have just been stacked up like crazy. I know I had ordered me a new pair of snow boots. I was even having them delivered to the house so I could get them in time for the snow. I got them when about the time the snow melted, so that's about how everything's uh, going these days. But we did it, finally get a box in uh, from Manos. We have some new Manos stuff to show you. You'd think in the course of two weeks we'd have more come in, but not with the big snowstorm. This is another color of Fino. It's been on back order, and I think it's called Poison. It's a really pretty color. They use it in a lot of their designs. So Poison is here. Uh, oh, and uh, some new patterns that use Fino. This is a really pretty uh, scarf uh, called Mountain Laurel. That's nice, and it's done, I believe, with the mini packs. Let me look here. I think so, where the, the Fino minis that we have. So you can use the mini skeins, I think, for that. And I think, let me double check. Sometimes I don't remember things right. Let's take a peek. Let's look at the whole pattern. Yes, it uses one skein of the solid Fino and then uh, one of the mini packs. So you get to use both. Um, and then we have Amaryllis. Love, love, love. This is done with Serena and it's done with two strands held together. It's a uh, seamless raglan, I believe. Isn't that a raglan? Yeah, seamless raglan. So this will go pretty fast and it'll be a really pretty sweater. And Serena's a nice yarn, it's an alpaca blend and it's good for um, all seasons. So new patterns. Let's see what else is in my box. Oh, I've been waiting on this yarn. We don't have to twist it into skeins. This is Serpentina. It is a hand spun yarn. Isn't that pretty? It's hand dyed and hand spun uh, from Manos to Uruguay. And we've got more colors. They look better when they're not in plastic. Let me take them out so you can see. So there's that color. It has a little bit more purple in that first one. Oh no, this color is bright. That's fun, isn't it? With all the pink. And we have this. Nice, nice color. I think we did get And then last but not least, this. Well, at least it's warmer out now than it was. I think it's supposed to be 70 today, but it's still not quite spring. As you can see, we're still enjoying our fireplace. I don't know if you can see our fireplace in here, but we're still enjoying it. Um, things that we're waiting on. I know there's a lot of things. That, how about just spring uh, it, yarns in general? Normally by now we have everything spring and we're, that's all we're talking about. Um, but short of think one yarn from Barocco, we haven't really seen anything for spring. Everything is delayed for a list of reasons so long I, I won't even bore you with them all. Um, one thing that is coming soon on are the new ball winders and swifts from Likey. Uh, we showed you those back in December and started taking pre-orders. We had hoped to see them in January. But they're delayed. They have actually are here in the U.S. and are on the shipped out to us, I believe, last Thursday. Um, normally, we would have them in hand by now, but UPS is just showing in transit weather delay, and we don't even know where they're at. 
So they could, you know, surprise show up today or be next week. Who knows? Everything is just backlogged because of the storm. Um, and speaking of likey, I know a lot of you are anxiously awaiting your likey blush needles. Um, again, we showed you these right before Christmas. They're the beautiful hot pink color. Can't wait for those to come. We have been waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, on the 9th, I got the best update I've got so far. On the 9th, the company in the U.S. that, that basically distributes these, uh, they received the shipping manifest. What that means is that the needles are produced, they're done, and they're on the boat coming to the U.S., which would normally take about two weeks, meaning they should be getting them this week. However, with COVID, the congestion at the ports is just insane. And so it's been taking about twice that long. So it may be a few more weeks before they get them. Um, I have been, uh, I guess the squeaky wheel gets the grease. I've been asking about them so much. They say they have my name on a post-it note on the computer of the person to hurry up, get the needles and send them out. So if you don't already have them on pre-order, you might want to do that now because some of the, especially the five inch tip sets, some of what we have allocated for us are already sold out. We may not have any left to sell by the time they get here. We might, we ordered quite a few, but they are selling out fast. So you might want to go order those right away. And normally we would be all geared up for their launch of Row in Spring, which had already been delayed. Normally it's February 1st. They are already knew that wasn't happening and delayed it to March 1st. Well, it's been delayed again. It's been delayed to March 15th for multiple reasons. Um, on the U.S. end, I don't think it's going to be a problem, although we haven't seen a shipment. I think their air freight with all of the new stuff for Rowan comes in this week. Um, so we're going to be kind of down to the wire, too. But the bigger issue, I think, has been some of the uh, getting it to the stock is throughout Europe uh, with Brexit. Brexit has made England and anything going in and out of England, it's turned it into just a three ring circus. You can't get trucks. You can't, you know, it, it's just awful. And so they haven't been able to even get things to their neighbor next door. That would be like us not being able to get stuff to and from Texas. So it, it's really been a problem for them. Uh, so Brexit's just a hot mess, a big hot mess. So that's part of what's slowing it down among with everything else. So the 15th is when Rowan Spring will launch. Very excited about that. Other spring yarns that we have on order from various companies. I think our latest update was more toward the end of March. So it's a late spring. That's all right, we're used to it. At least it gives us something to be excited about with spring coming. Um, oh, I might, you might notice we got a new sample that I'm wearing here. Um, this is the Golden Touch Cowl. It is from Manas de Uruguay. I can't speak today, Manas de Uruguay. And this is made with Franca. If you have not used Franca yet, you really need to. I mean, I'll get close so you can see how pretty it is. Look how gorgeous this is. It is so soft. You will love it. We just want to touch this yarn all day long. We love all the Nano yarns, but something about this one is just, mm. So you really need to treat yourself to a little bit of Franca. This took two skeins. It's got a really interesting stitch pattern, and but it's not hard to do, and it works up really fast on big needles. I think that's all that I have for you today. We'll be ne back next week, hopefully with likey ball winders and swifts in hand and whatever else. UPS and FedEx decide to finally walk in the door with us. Hopefully all this cold weather and snow are behind us. I love winter, but good grief. I'm so over that. Um, I hope everybody is taking care of themselves and has what they need. For those of you power and water, we are definitely feeling for you. This just sum it up sucks. It really does. Okay, but well, we'll be back next Tuesday, hopefully with something exciting. Bye.